My name is Atish and first of all I would like to thank all my dear students who gave me a very wonderful response as per the last learning video on rank of matter is concerned and they so far want me to prepare a learning video on limits theorem. So here I am with a new learning video on limits theorem. So first of all let us see what is limits theorem. So Lipschitz theorem states that if u and v are functions of x, are functions of x such that such that all their derivative exist, all their derivative exist. Then the nth derivative, the, the nth derivative of of their product of their product is given by is given by. So some of the students find it very difficult to remember this formula. So I have a trick for you. Take it. So it's not very difficult. So this is n the derivative of u into v. Now d n of u into v. The first term, this left hand side will still give you the first term. That is d n of u into v plus n into. Abhi kya karna hai? Next term mein, next term mein aapko iska ek derivative kam karna hai and give it to the next. Okay? So this is n d n minus of u. Kitna derivative kam kiya? One. And give it to the next one, d of v plus n into n minus 1 by factorial 2. Now again subtract one derivative. So n minus 1 minus how many? n minus 2 derivative of u. Itna derivative come here? 2. Now give this two derivatives to the next. Plus so on. And the last one is u into dn of v. First one is n derivative cancel or the derivative d of v. So in this way you can remember this limit theorem. Now, one remark I would like to make. If you really want to enjoy this topic, that is limit theorem, you must have a very sound knowledge of elementary derivative. And elementary derivative is not a big deal. Okay? So let us see example on limit theorem. So let us take an example on limit theorem. So the function is given to you y is equal to a cos of log x plus b sine of log x. Then show that x square y n plus 2 plus 2n plus 1 into x y n plus 1 plus n square plus 1 y n equal to 0. Now we have to prove this. So subset we have to prove this. So you can see what is the highest derivative. As you can see, this this denotes derivative. N is the derivative, n plus one is the derivative, and n plus two is the derivative. So the highest derivative is n plus two. So this n derivative will be given by Leibniz theorem, and this two derivative we have to find. Okay. So let us see how to find out this. So. Let us start with the solution. So the first sentence of your solution is let, let y is equal to a cos of log x plus b sine of log x. Now how many derivatives we are going to find? 2. And n derivative will be given by limits. So let us differentiate with respect to x. Differentiating with respect to x, we get what we get, we have y, and the first derivative I am going to write it as like this y1. So, what is first derivative? A is constant, derivative of cos is minus sine log of x into derivative of log x is 1 by x plus b constant as it is what is derivative of sine cos of log x into derivative of log x is 
1 by x. Now, as you can see, this is the very first element. Cone of the cleave there is 1 by x. And 1 by x is common in both. So, let us take this 1 by x to the left. The moment you take 1 by x to the left, you will be getting x into y1 is equal to minus a sin of log x plus b cos of log x. Okay? Now, this is just the first derivative. How many derivatives we want to? So, differentiate one more time. So, so differentiating with respect to x again. Differentiating with respect to x again we get. So, as you can see here it is x into y1. So, both are functions of x. So, here you have to apply product rule of derivative. So, what is product rule of derivative? First function, derivative of second plus second function, derivative of first. So, applying product rule to the left, you will be getting first function, derivative of second. This is one derivative and derivative, so two times derivative. So, I am writing it as y2 plus second function, derivative of first. Derivative of x with respect to x is 1 is equal to now what is derivative of this minus a constant derivative of sin x is cos of log x into 1 by x minus derivative of cos is minus sin so b sin of log x into 1 by x so to avoid any confusion you can write this as like this now again as you can see 1 by x is common so take this x common and multiply it to the left so jaise humne wahan se 1 by x common le liya aur idhar pe multiply kar diya so you will be getting x square y2 plus x into y1 is equal to minus a cos of log x I can take minus sine common plus b sine of log x. But what is this a cos of log x plus b sine of log x? That is what? So I can give this as equation 1 and write this one as y2 into x square plus y1 into x is equal to minus y. And you can, if you want, you can give me a result 1. Okay? Now, take this to the left. When you left to the left, what will happen? That is y2 into x square plus y1 into x plus y is equal to 0. Now, you can see that the highest derivative is equal 2. And what do you want? a plus 2. So, B got the two derivative and this nth derivative will be given by Leibniz. So, abhi Leibniz ko yaad karenge. Okay, so what is Leibniz theorem? The Leibniz theorem says Bn of u into v is equal to Bn of u into v. Trick jaysse bataya tha, vaysa aapko yaad rakhna hai. Bn of u into v. What is the next term? A into now, this is the derivative of the derivative of the So, what is it? D n minus 1 into u into d of p. What's this? Plus n into n minus 1 by 2 factorial. How much derivative of the derivative of the n minus 2 of u into d2 of v plus n so on. So, this is Leibniz theorem. Now differentiate this n at a time. So say this is to be your equation 2 and you can write differentiating equation 2 with respect to differentiating equation 2 n at a time and applying and applying Leibniz theorem. Applying Leibniz theorem 
VA V. So differentiate this NF time. So ज़्यादा कुछ नया नहीं करना है. NF derivative of this, NF derivative of this, and NF derivative of this. So this is B A naught y two into x square plus B A naught y one into x plus B A naught simply b is equal to c. अभी आप भी हमें एक चीज़ हमेशा याद रखनी है. जब भी भी हम derivative लगाएंगे, जैसे limit जो लगाया है उसमें, तो second जो function रहेगा, हमेशा x वाला लीजिएगा. क्यों ऐसा? Because जैसे आप देख सकते हैं हम डेरिवेटिव किसका बढ़ा रहे हैं v का पहले जीरो से डेरिवेटिव देन वन डेरिवेटिव है टू डेरिवेटिव अब इसका यूज क्या है क्यों हम इसको v ले रहे हैं क्योंकि जब आप एक बार इसका डेरिवेटिव लेंगे सो so x 2x मिलेगा दूसरी बार डेरिवेटिव लिया तो 2 और तीसरी बार 3 ऑनवर्ड्स ऑल जीरो सो इट इज ऑलवेज इंपॉर्टेंट टू राइट x स्क्वायर एज v ओके सो नाउ लेट अस अप्लाई लिमिट्स लेगा The moment I apply Lipschitz theorem to this, we get. Now apply Lipschitz theorem to the first bracket just. So, जैसे हमने first वाले bracket में Lipschitz theorem बताया, तो क्या मिलेगा? D n of y two into into x square plus n into d n minus one of y two. Into derivative of x square plus n into n minus one by factorial two into d n minus two of y two into d into d two of x square plus x two. This is just the limit theorem on first bracket. Now similarly. You have to apply the limit theorem on second bracket plus d n of y one into x plus n into d n minus one of y one into d of x plus and so on plus d n of y n is equal d n of y is equal to zero. अब आप सोचेंगे कि यहाँ पे सर आपने two derivatives तक लिखा यहाँ पे n to n minus one by two factor वाला term क्यों नहीं आया? Because in the first term we have x square, so two derivatives will be there. First derivative of x square is two x. Second derivative of x square is two. Now of course the derivative is zero, so no need to write down the further terms. अब ये यहाँ पे देखिए यहाँ पे हमारा x वाला टर्म क्या था x पावर वन सो डी ऑफ v डेरिवेटिव ऑफ x इज वन एंड नेक्स्ट डेरिवेटिव ऑन वर्स विल बी जीरो सो नो नीड टू राइट आउट दी अदर नाउ यू जस्ट हैव टू राइट आउट दिस n डेरिवेटिव्स टू डेरिवेटिव्स n प्लस टू डेरिवेटिव्स सो दिस इज y n प्लस टू इनटू x स्क्वायर प्लस n टू व्हाट इज इट n minus one is two derivative, so this is y n plus one derivative, n plus two minus one. What is derivative of x square? Two x plus n into n minus one by factorial two is two. N minus two derivative and two derivative, so another derivative into two times derivative of x square. What is two times derivative of x square? Two. Okay. Now apply limits. Now solve this bracket. So this bracket can be write as y n plus one into x plus n into y n minus one plus one get cancelled. Into derivative of x is one plus another derivative of y is y n is equal to. Now as you can see, this two get cancelled with this. No further terms are cancelled out. अब यहाँ पे मैं हम आपको एक trick बताएंगे. Suppose आपको इसके बाद नहीं आ रहा है. So क्योंकि ये वाला problem show that वाला है. So इसके बाद आप directly आप अपना answer लिख सकते हैं. You'll be getting full reward. Okay? अगर ये question six marks का है, तो आपको पूरा six marks मिलेगा. 
बट इन ऑर्डर टू सी कैसे आता है ये सो हम इसको भी सॉल्व करते हैं जस्ट वन से Thank you very much for watching this video.